I guess learning the language. Um, I would advise just reading the Book of Mormon, reading any of the scriptures in Spanish, um, and really ask questions. Um, there were times when people, I mean, it's kind of inevitable when you're new in the mission for them not to make fun of you because, you know, when you're learning the language and you sound like their two-year-old daughter learning, you know, learning how to speak, it's kind of funny to them. Um, but a lot of the members were helpful. A lot of them would ask questions, you know, asking if they if we needed help learning the language. And it's really important, like, if you don't know something, ask them or attempt to say it straight, whatever it is. Like, the language comes easier when you can apply it and, like, strive to learn everything that they can teach you because you only have so much time in the mission to learn as much as you can. So I just definitely encourage utilizing that time and asking questions because that saved me whole ton. Common phrases, common phrases. Okay, so in El Salvador, they say a lot, like if you're, if they, they say ba, they say ba a lot. So if you were to say like, um, like, vamos a la casa, ba, like, let's go back home, ba, they'd always say ba, and ba means okay, or it just means huh, um, and it's, it's kind of interesting because I served not only, so I served in El Salvador and I also served five months in Arizona, which in Arizona they have Mexican Spanish. So when I served in Arizona, when I was there, I kept on saying ba and people were like, why are you saying, like all the Latinos would look at me and be like, why are you saying ba so much? And it was just because in El Salvador, ba is such a common thing. They also say que chivo, que chivo means cool. Um, or that's awesome. Um, they say, que barbaridad, que barbaridad. Like, oh, how awful, or, oh, wow. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, they just have a lot of different words for, for things. So it's not just sayings, but, um, let's see, ba, que chivo, que barbaridad. Puchica. Puchica is another one. Puchica is like, oh, dang it, like, Puchica. Or like, I'm trying to think of a good example. Puchica. I still, to this day, when I use Spanish, I still say Puchica. Because I would always, I mean, that's just, that's, that's their way of saying, it's almost like their, their way of saying freak. Oh, freak. Oh, Puchica. Puchica. So they say that a lot. Um... See, for dog they would say chucho. Dog is chucho in Spanish in El Salvador. Um, yeah, they just have a lot of different words, so that's why I say like ask questions because a lot of the things that they say in El Salvador is not the way that you would learn it in like high school Spanish. Um, it's not formal. It's all slang. Um, it's all what they call caliche, so that just means it's it's just a very slang form of Spanish. Um, so they have a lot of interesting words for, for, for things that they use in El Salvador. Oh, common phrases. Okay, so in El Salvador, they, a lot of the spunky members would always tell us this, and it wasn't even just members; it was pe other people. They say, "Se porta se bien, y si no, me invita." So that just means like behave yourself, and if you're not gonna behave yourself, invite me. And I remember, remember telling us that, and I was like, what does that mean? And I just thought it was funny because those missionaries, like, we're always supposed to be good and obedient, and they're just saying, like, if you don't, if you're not good and obedient, invite me. So it's kind of like their spunky, spunky way of, I guess, joking with us. <laughs> and that's another thing I love about their cultures. They're so blunt, so honest, so upfront with each other, and so spunky. I love it, love it. Um, and they're also, like like I said before, they're super friendly. They say, like on the street, if you're walking past someone, they always say, que te vaya bien. So it basically means walk well, um, or walk good, walk well. 